Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Also, welcome if you are new. I'm so excited about this video. I have been waiting to do this dining room makeover. We're showing some before photos. So when we first moved in and then like mid construction and everything and then what it's looking like before we started the makeover. This makeover is a pretty dramatic one. If you've been following me since we moved in, you know I really, really wanted to put this big, beautiful built-in bar system on this back wall. So I went to Ikea. I've gotten a lot of questions about Ikea and the design setup and everything. And I have now done it two different ways. So when we did our kitchen, I did the online designer. Um, so it's literally like a video call and they do all the designing and you can literally see what they're doing from your computer to their computer. You can see everything. And then I just went into the store, ordered everything. However, this time around for the dining room, I kind of knew exactly what I wanted. So I did set up a uh, meeting with a kitchen designer, but it was purely just so that they could put my vision to life because Ikea can be kind of confusing to do it by yourself. So even though I, I knew exactly what I wanted, I knew they would be able to put in the system, tell me what I need a lot easier. And the great thing about that is they literally put everything, the rails, um, the trim work, absolutely everything goes on that order. And there's no questioning because Ikea is very, very custom. So there's a lot of little pieces you don't even think about. But I 110% would recommend Ikea kitchen and cabinetry. We have been so thrilled with how easy things are to put together. This is a DIYer's dream and the how sturdy everything is. It's literally been super easy to do. This project took us all week. However, it wasn't like all week and we were working on it every single day, all day. It was just a couple hours here, a couple hours there. And I think in the end, it turned out absolutely beautiful. You'll see we are using the same cabinets that we got for the kitchen because I wanted it to stand alone as its own room. But since it is right across from the kitchen, I still wanted it to blend together very nicely. These counters I just got from Lowe's. They're just the butcher block counters from Lowe's. They were a little pricey, but I know you can build them yourself. I felt like in the long run, this was just a much easier way to go about it. Um, and it just looks really, really good. I did like that you can order your own custom size. I didn't end up doing that. I think in the future, if I ever do something like this again, I will order my own custom size because it would have been easier than doing this wood filler. Um, but in the end, it turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm really, really happy that we went with the butcher block because it's different than the kitchen. So once again, going with that, wanting it to be beautiful and blend, but also stand on its own and be its own just piece of art, I really wanted. So I know I'm going to get questions about this stain and I know I showed the can when I started staining but the color is the rustic oak color and I love this because it's like a warm gray. 
So it's kind of a mix between the browns and the grays. It's more of a modern color. And I just love the way it blends with the floors and everything. Now, I will say this plan changed a little bit. Originally, I was planning on doing the glass cabinets on top and then another set of cabinets above the ones with the glass doors. However, once we got this all in, this is an older home. Measurements aren't 100%. Um, and we were off by a small amount. Uh, I think there was like 17 and a half inches above these glass cabinet doors, cabinets, and I needed 20. So we did end up figuring out that we were going to do a open shelving up top. So Bobby, you're going to see here in a little bit, he frames it all out. He does some electrical. He is super handy and makes all of my like visions of what I want come to life. And I absolutely love it because I wasn't planning on this, but I think in the end, it actually turns out even better than if we would have done full on cabinets. I just want to let you know behind the mirrors and all that smoke promises and alibis. I don't believe, I don't believe, told me you would change my world. Now I know what you are worth, gone and lost your hold on me. I don't believe, I don't believe. Oh, and because I had people wondering when we did our kitchen, no, the cabinets are not blue. Um, this is a protective coating that they put on everything, which makes me really happy because we're able to get a lot of work done and not worry about scuffing or scratching the brand new cabinets until we're ready to start taking them off. So they are not blue cabinets, even though... It could kind of be cool. These are the same white as in the kitchen. Like I said, I wanted it to be something that they coordinated and blended beautifully with the kitchen, but also stood alone and had their own identity here in the dining room. Every now and then you lose in life. What you're risking when you roll the dice. Now I'm going to place the bed on me. I do believe, I do believe. So the other nice thing about these cabinets is one, everything is soft close, which with having three kids um, is kind of a big deal. If you have any kids, it doesn't matter how many kids you have. If you have children, the soft clothes are just really, really nice um, and they're all adjustable. So what I you see me doing here with the screwdriver is just adjusting so that they all line up correctly up or down and they open nicely onto the um counters without scuffing. Here you can see Bobby putting in these lights. I really wanted these lights and I didn't know how difficult they would be. So I didn't ask Bobby. Um, he actually brought this up on his own and I'm like, you can do that. Cause I knew I really wanted them, but I also knew that would entail him going up into the attic and running new power lines and everything. Um, but I was super thrilled when he brought it up and was willing to do it because it really does make a huge, huge difference having this lighting. And I'm really, really happy he was able to get this done. I did decide, though, I wanted I wanted something to make this area pop some more. So I took the same black that's on the fireplace and just put it in this middle section. We were going back and forth with a bunch of different ideas. Um, I was trying to decide if maybe I would go and buy some tile and backsplash it or shiplap it and paint it black, all these different things. And I figured, well, for now, I'll just paint it black and see if I like it like this um, with the idea of if I really, really wanted to, I could change it later but I wanted to see if this would be sufficient to make it stand out, and I love it. This was the best idea to paint this back area black. It isn't too much, but it breaks up all the white so it's not so stark white in this area.
This California weather, it's like 90 degrees It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me It's just something about the way that he's making me feel My insides are out, I just wanna shout his name Ah, my body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips Ah, I wanna run through his hair But I'm trying not to stare, mm -mm. I get a little starstruck when I see So this is also a matte black, so keep in mind as you see me painting this on, it looks really, really shiny, but once it dries, you're going to see that it dries matte, which is something I really, really wanted. There's something about that contrast of a high gloss and matte paint that I think is just beautiful. So having these cabinets be high gloss and then this back be matte. I just love the way this pulled together. One thing you don't see me do here though is after I got this all painted, I hated this outlet. I hated the white standing out. So I end up going in and just painting it the same exact black because I just, I did not like this big white rectangle <laughs> on the wall. Um, and I think it was the right decision. I definitely think this made a huge difference. This California weather, it's like 90 degrees. It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me. I act a little dumber when I try to get his number up so nervous that I'm losing grip on myself. I get a little starstruck. Now I knew I had to take all this blue off because we were going to put trim on the top of these open shelves, which really, really, really pulled it together. Uh, it being open like this looked fine, but it didn't look polished. And there's certain things when you're doing DIY projects that make a huge difference. Trimming out stuff, caulking, things like that are going to what makes something look amateur to professional. I don't think I showed me doing any of the caulk work either, but that's definitely something that I did. It's a big deal when you get rid of all that seams and it looks completely built in, makes a massive, massive difference. So if you're ever doing something on your own and it's always at the end that you're like, oh, is it really necessary? Because you're just tired by the end of it. 100% it is necessary even if you give yourself a day off and then go in the next day and do all the little detailed finishing work. 100% do it because that it literally is night and day of how professional it looks in the end. As I was doing these bottom cabinets is when Bobby was doing the trim on the top. But Freya was so adorable while I was doing this. Um, you'll see here in a little bit, she shows up and she wanted to help. So she was literally taking all the blue and making a neat little pile of it. It was so adorable. I didn't even realize that she was making this neat little pile till I was all done. And I went to pick it all up and I noticed that it was in this 
perfect little ball of because this stuff is really really sticky um I think I have this sped up eight times like it's not the easiest stuff to get off by any means um but she was definitely a big helper and she had a ton of fun grabbing all the little pieces and helping mama out obviously loving her cocoa melon pajamas she is she is obsessed with Coco Melon. Um, and if I could let, there's certain things in her wardrobe that it's literally a huge temper tantrum fight when I tell her she can't wear it because I have to wash it. And this is one of those outfits that whenever I change her out of it, she gets so mad at me because she does not understand the idea that it is dirty and I need to wash it. Like, I will let you wear it tomorrow again. Just let me wash it first. Oh, and also this wine fridge. We also got that from Lowe's. We get a lot of stuff from Lowe's. Um, so we just wanted something that we could put our wine. And you're going to notice that this is like a, I call it a bar, but it's a drinking station in general. Um, coffee bar, alcohol, literally whatever you are thirsty for is in this area. So having the fridge over here was really nice. I do wish we could have added water to this side to make it a wet bar but it would have been really really difficult to make it a wet bar so maybe in the future if we ever buy a new house it's something we'll think about because it would be nice to have like a small little sink or bigger than a sink an ice maker I might end up investing in an ice maker to put on the counter because we Bobby and I love our iced coffees like part of the reason not the main reason, but part of the reason with doing this is we spend a good amount of money on um, iced coffee at Starbucks or my mom's coffee shop daily. So this has already saved us a lot of money because this is the perfect little coffee bar setup, but obviously I like my coffees iced. So, and this is very nitpicky because my fridge is not that far away in the kitchen to get the ice but it would be nice if there was an ice maker right in here and I could do everything right at this counter um like I said if it was a wet bar it'd be amazing because I could literally wash our glasses um you're gonna see I got the espresso machine and everything but like I said it wasn't really practical and it isn't really necessary it's more of just a nicety thing only problem is I love you What to do, you got me bumping A world spin round I love you What to do now, do now Only problem is I love you So damn much every word you say Every time we touch I love you, I love you now I want you So big thing I've learned with putting on hardware, I was very, very, very intimidated when I first did the hardware in the kitchen because you have to drill your own holes and everything. And I'm like, if I screw up, I'm putting a hole in my brand new cabinets. And it was very intimidating. However, Bobby found this piece that literally makes it where it has all these holes in it to help you line it up perfectly pretty sure he found it at Lowe's, possibly Home Depot, but 100% recommend investing in that because I was terrified of putting on the hardware in the kitchen for the first time, and this made it so, so easy. 
But now Bobby is hanging the floating shelves. We went between doing like big chunky floating shelves or these skinnier ones. Um, I don't think there would have been a wrong decision, but I do really like the way these turned out. And we just put them in the exact same color as the countertop. That way it all flows and blends nicely. Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get it. All right, don't mind the baby shark in the background. I have everything out. This is from the little bar cabinet we had at the old house. All laid out. I have some new stuff that I picked up from Home Goods. Right now, it's just all over the place. This is probably the most intimidating thing today is styling these shelves because there's certain very sentimental things like this set was hand painted for Bobby and I when we got married. Um, so I really want that to show. Uh, we got a new espresso maker. Well, it's our first one ever, but I love this. And this was a big part of doing this. Um, what else do we have? Oh, this may seem silly, but it's another sentimental thing. This is something Bobby's great-grandfather had. So we just have some oddball things that are sentimental that, of course, we want to use. This was a gift from Bobby way back when. Um, these are antique hand-me-down pieces. So we have a couple things that I know I want to use in some way. I just don't know how yet. So we are going to play. This is a lot of trial and error. So one thing to keep in mind when doing this is it can be very intimidating, but just move stuff around. You're going to notice that I try to balance the different objects. So wood pieces and color, I try and go at a diagonal. So if I'm using color on the left side at the bottom, I then put color on the right side at the top. Um, if I'm using something white, I'm just trying to balance it on both sides. And I didn't want them to be on the same level on both sides. The other thing though that you're, I don't think I got on camera is I did all of this before Bobby got up in the morning. <laughs> you guys know, I am not so much a night person. So I normally go to bed before Bobby and Bobby is not a morning person. So I'm normally up well before him. Um, so a lot of the stuff did move around a little bit after he got up. Things are constantly moving and that's totally okay. You just kind of mess with it and play with it as you go and try and make it work to the best of your abilities. Big things to keep in mind is one, different shapes make a big deal. So if you have a lot of square stuff, adding in some rounded pieces, um, greenery to add life and then the different colors so I have clear glass I have wood pieces and then I have the white so a lot of it keeps it pretty neutral I don't like working with a ton of color um, but you can see you can still work in sentimental pieces like some of these pieces aren't so much sentimental to me but they really really were to Bobby so I wanted to make sure to work it out and you guys know me like I decorate um, to make myself happy, but I also decorate to make my family happy because I'm not the only one living in this house. So even if I wouldn't have chosen something myself, like um, the different alcohol things, some of the stuff that Bobby really loves, I'm still going to use it because he loves it and he is just as big of a part of this as I am. So 
you can use those pieces and still make them beautiful. You just have to play around with everything a little bit. Bobby got up and we changed it up a little bit. This cabinet stayed pretty much the same. Um, he has these older booze bottles from, who's that, Granny? Grandma Gloria? Grandma Gloria. From Grandma Gloria. Um, so he thought these would be more important out on display compared to the um, Viking horns. So we put those up there. Um, brought our shells little gator head up there and then this little bottle that we've always had from a previous bonfire it it melted cool so we kept it and then over here um changed up this side a little bit added some old shot glasses in there um but all of that's the same and then I had to go back to the store because I was looking for stuff for the top shelves. So I'm hoping this will fit nicely up there just to give a little bit of color and a backdrop. But then I found these ships and a couple other things and we're just going to play with it and see how it works up there. But not quite sure. Like I said, we like the coastal vibe without like screaming in your face coastal but we still like these type of things. And since this is a drinking bar for whatever you want, coffee, wine, whatever, pirate ship type stuff kind of makes sense for us. Fishing, pirate ships, all the things. So I'm going to mess with those and see if we can make it look nice. So that artwork ended up not working, and I was really bummed about it. I thought it was really pretty and would have given a good backdrop, um, but it just didn't fit, which I knew was a possibility, um, but that ended up being fine. I just built these little stands, though, to put the different anchor and propeller on out of some scrap two by fours. I will be staining them. I just didn't on this day, um, but they do still need to get stained as well. But I wanted to get them up there to try to figure it out. And then on Amazon, I found these rechargeable lights. I knew I wanted the lights on the inside, especially with them being glass, just to make everything light up and beautiful. And these are really cool because they change colors. You can do the different if you like more of a cool white or a warm white and all of that. And then I'm just going in and adding um, the new Moscow mules and everything. I actually got um, my Timu order like the very last day of doing this project. So it came just in time. I wasn't even planning on originally putting it in here, but then it showed up and I'm like, this is perfect. Like it is exactly what I need for to finish off the bar. Like it worked perfectly. Um, I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you guys how I make my morning drink every day before going into all the before and afters. I love the before and afters. Those are always my favorite part. And I've said this about every single makeover, I think, but this one has got to be one of my favorite makeovers we've done in this entire house. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. Those are things that always really, really help out my channel and I really, really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, I would love if you would subscribe. I do a lot of cleaning motivation on my channel, but since buying this home in Florida, we have completely renovated it. It's crazy. We've only been here for seven months and we have pretty much touched almost every room. The only room we have not worked on yet is the kids' bathroom. 
So that's definitely going to have to be coming up soon, as well as the fourth bedroom. But as you guys know, that is going to be a nursery project coming up very soon. <laughs>